All right, so you filed your tax return through TurboTax, and maybe you missed something like a W-2 or a 1099 on there, and you need to amend the tax return. Or maybe, better yet, you forgot to put a deduction on there, and you want to amend to include or account for that. Let's do it. All right, so if you need to amend for the current year, you'll just come into this tax home. Once you log in here, on the right, there's a little FAQ button. How do I amend right return? You either click that button, for again, for the current year, and you'll see that current year right there. There it is. Or if you need to do a prior year, you come down here and check the prior year, right? And on the right down low, you'll see whenever this thing loads here, it'll say, right, right there, amend, change. Click that button, amend that tax return. So I'm going to amend the current years. Here we go. Let's do it. All right, so we have all these options on why we're amending. I don't really think it matters, but I'm going to say two of these things here, right? Updating tax form and changing something else. Hit continue, and it's going to ask, right, what did we miss? So I'm going to hit this 1099 NEC, say like some self-employment income here, and hit continue. Let's get started. Let's do it. All right, so right away it gets into, let's input that missing tax form, that 1099. So you would just hit add another 1099 here. And you're just gonna fill this out directly from the 1099 that you have. All right, so if you do have a missing 1099 and you wanna see how to input this into TurboTax, I do have a video on that up there. Make sure to click on that link there and check that out. All right, so let's say that 1099, that is your issue here, you input that there and you know you kind of click through and now it's going to say do you want to amend any other areas of the return if a 1099 nec was the reason i would highly recommend you, you do hit yes you want to amend the other return uh the other areas of the return and the reason for this is because we want to account for the expenses against that income and you would go in here and just click that start button right there and input the expenses again i do have a video on how to get a these you know input information from the 1099 on TurboTax in a prior video, make sure you check that out right here, okay? Make sure you account for all those expenses so we can lower that taxable amount that is due. Now, maybe there's something else that you actually need to amend as well, like a deduction in credit. You know, make sure that you do go through this and get that done. Once you are done with all your changes to your original return, you're going to come down here and click that done button. All right, so once you get done with all the changes to your return, you're going to want to give an explanation as to what exactly we changed, okay? And you do want to make sure that this is, a, this is a nice explanation because it does actually go on the return. So like in our case here, I'm going to say taxpayers admitting the return to include self-employment income and expenses. Click continue. Mailing address is still the same. Okay, continue. Do we want to designate $3? I'm gonna say no, we don't. Continue. Do any of these less common situations apply? NOL, no. General business credit, no. Different carryback, no. Requesting a late, no. Special situation to add, to the, no. None of these apply. Continue. Looks like we need more information. I'm gonna hit update later here. All right, let's do the review. All right, let's check out what they want to review for us here. Ah, looks like we got a lot. Okay, well, I'm not going to go through all the reviews because I'm sure there's lots of errors on here because I just kind of go through this just for illustration purposes. But obviously, clean those up if this is your actual return here. You still have a couple details to button up. Okay, what are these? Okay, well, obviously, fix those on your end if you have those. If you have any specific requests on TurboTax videos you want me to make, make sure you leave that in the comments below. Well, since we are amending the feds, in our case here, we would also need to amend the state return. So that's what this is prompting here. Okay, so we want to make sure that we are getting this done. So in our case, we're going to amend the California return. Let's do it. Are you ready to amend? Yes, we're ready. Let's do it. Yep, for the 23 tax year, correct. How to, before clicking, it's important to click this link first. Hmm, interesting. In the state return. So obviously highly recommend going through this before you do your state return with California, the amended return here. Okay. Confirm previous refund or taxes paid. 
All right, so it's, it's really important that we do get this accurate because the amended return is based on the input, the information you're going to input in here. Now, if you haven't got the refund yet, I would recommend waiting until you got that refund to get this done properly. But obviously, you made the payment. You made the payment. Put it in there. All right. Click continue. All right, so about your California amended return. This is the Schedule X. Looks very familiar to me. That's right. This is the goes on the amended return. What it's essentially going to say is like, you know, what refund did we get originally, okay? And what refund is on the return or what amount do we show on the amended return, right? Which is up here, okay? And then it's going to do the math here. Now, we essentially have to pay back because, right, 951 is what we should have actually originally got as a refund. But since we got the 3285, now we got to pay that difference back here. Part three is the reason for amending. You should definitely fill this thing out here. Uh, I generally check that box error on the original return is what I'm doing here. Okay. And then I'm going to say check this box to transfer. Yep. That's what I want to do. And it should transfer that, hey, you know, that taxpayer is amending to report self-employment income and expenses. And continue. All right. Let's do it. Let's do the review. All right, and of course, there's lots of errors on this. Again, these are, this is just for illustration, so I'm not going to actually fix this return. We're just going to kind of just click continue here to get to the end of this. All right, so there we go. Done with the smart check deal, and that's it. I guess continue now at this point. Let's get ready to file the return. Let's do it. Of course, it's got all these errors here that they, you know, they want me to fix. If you have errors on your end, make sure you do go through those, okay? But for illustration purposes, I'm just going to go kind of run through this part here. Okay, continue. Okay, deal. There it is. So, awesome. Let's hit continue. All right, so they're saying we cannot e-file the amended returns. Okay. We'll have to mail these, unfortunately. This is actually not accurate because I know we can do this as professionals. Hit continue. And there you go. Print them out and mail those things off to both the Fed and the state. Let's see, take a look what these things look like. All right, and there's the amended return. Awesome. Deal. And watch, it's going to have that little description, right? Taxpayers amending return to include self-employment income and expenses. Let's check California, make sure they also have this, right? There it is, Schedule S, X, the amended, right? And there we go. Taxpayers amending. Awesome. They did it right here. All right, so let's go back to TurboTax here. Hit continue, see what they say. Probably where to mail this thing to, right? 12 to 6 weeks for these things to process. Take some time for an amended return to process. Do not hold your breath here, okay? Especially if you're expecting a refund. All right, is it going to tell us where to mail it to? All right, so it's actually telling us where to mail it on the actual return here, right? So if you, if you scroll down on the first page, right, mail the return right there. I highly recommend that you mail these certified mail with a return receipt so we know that the IRS actually got this thing. And for California purposes, it also has the address right here. Again, these would go separate envelopes, one to the Fed, one to the state. Certified mail with a return receipt. Cannot stress that enough. And there you go. That's how you amend a return on TurboTax. Well, hope the video was helpful for you guys. If it was, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, if you haven't done so already, be sure to use the link in the description below for TurboTax. It doesn't change the price that you pay for TurboTax. It just gives me a little chunk of the change. Helps support the channel. Thank you so much, guys.